Welcome back. I want to show you guys the difference between good seed and bad seed. Be nice to your mother and always say please. Be loyal to friends and compost your enemies. Be nice to your mother. These beans right here came from a batch that I got from a local farm store, farm supply store, and they had about a hundred percent germination rate. Something came through and chewed the roots on the bottom of that one. But as you can see, we've got a nice even stand of beans. These beans are contender. And the even stand goes to this half a row right here. And then we've got this weird one. And then we've got a gap. And then we've got these two, of which this one looks kind of chewy. And then we have multiple missing ones. And then we have these. And then look at, look at these things. If you were a beginning gardener, you would think this was your fault. Why are my beans looking so bad? Well, these beans came from a $1 pack of seeds that were tender green bush beans. And then down here, here's my contender bush beans. You see how perfect that stand looks compared to this stand. And that's the dividing point right there in the middle is where I ran out of seeds from that pack. I actually threw out multiple seeds from that pack because the beans were split open and damaged. And still, look, look at what I get. You see this? That is not what you want to see. But you would think, hey, I must have done something wrong. There must be a disease, maybe a bug chewed it in the ground. If those were the only seeds you had, the only thing you had to compare to, you would say, wow, that's, I did something wrong. I must have done something wrong that my seeds would come up like this. Maybe I didn't have enough compost in the soil. Maybe there's something underneath that's just chewing them up. You know, I've got occasional ones that look sort of okay here. I mean, that looks pretty good. But if you compare, look at, look at how many bad looking plants I've got in this batch. If seeds have not been stored well, they lose their strength over time. They get more and more messed up, they deteriorate. If they are second rate seeds, they don't do well. So when I go to a farmer supply place, farmers know if their seeds don't come up, they know that they're doing things the right way. If they if they take a look and they see, you know, their their plants coming up and looking like this, guess what? They're gonna blame the seeds. Home gardeners though, we don't normally think of it. We just think it's oh, it's probably our fault. It's probably our mistake. So if you go to a farm supply place, this is commercial seed supply here. They better have their ducks in a row because the farmers are going to complain. The farmers are going to give them trouble. But for a home gardener, hey, look at such and such seed company. Nice, pretty packets for sale at the local hardware store. That's where I got it. One buck for the package. And you look and go, uh, something's seriously wrong here, right? But a home gardener would just think, oh, that's my, that's my fault. I must have done something wrong. I didn't prepare well. Well, guess what? This bed was dug nicely all the way down. It was given a certain amount of ashes. They've all been fed the same way. And then you could see the huge difference. So when you buy seeds, don't just go to the dollar store and buy the cheap packets. You know, buy from a good seed company. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're farming for commercial return, I'll tell you what, a lot of small farmers, they go to Johnny's Selected Seeds because Johnny's has some of the highest quality seeds. And no, they didn't pay me for this. But they're, they're for farmers. And, you know, you can go to Baker Creek if you want good heirlooms. But just to go and buy the cheap seed by such and such ABC Seed Company, yeah, that's not good. Because you end up with stuff like this and you're going to think it's your fault. Nope, that's... A problem with the seed. So just a quick warning there, you know, get good seeds right from the beginning. Pay the extra buck or two. It's totally worth it to get a stand that looks like this rather than one that looks like this. Get good seed. You'll thank me for it later. It's totally worth it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. And until then, may your thumbs always be green. Hey.